Well, we're here at the NLL Draft talking with Rochester Nighthawks captain Dan Coates. And Coatsy, I feel like you're uniquely qualified right now to talk about the pick in the second round with it being Connor Finger. Yeah, I was fortunate enough to coach Connor the last couple of years in the UCBLL. And uh, he's a great kid, great athlete, great leader. Um, love his game. You know, fortunate enough to, to get to know him as a person on and off the floor. So, uh, yeah, he, he's a great pick for us. And I think our organization is going to be pretty excited with him down the future. Dan Carey is the general manager, so of course he's making the final decision. I have to think there may have been a little influence coming from you. Yeah, I think uh, I think that's part of it, right? You know, a lot of guys, you know, coaches will ask current players or guys coaching guys from various leagues. So yeah, he, he asked me, and I think he, you know, he did his due diligence and asked uh, asked around, and obviously has some great coaching staff down at Albany. And um, yeah, he's a great pick, and I think he's, he's going to be great for us. The noise travels up and down the hallways here in Blue Cross Arena. I heard you getting an opportunity after Connor was drafted to just call him on the phone. Can you share any of what you said to him? Uh, yeah, I just wanted to welcome him to our team and uh, just wanted to congratulate him. I know it was pretty special for, for him. He's a local kid, grew up in Penyan, and uh, I know he, I think he was, uh, had a team meeting um, and he was kind of refreshing just to see if he got drafted. So it was pretty exciting. I know, you know, sitting in when I was there, whenever, how long ago was that? It was pretty exciting times, right? It's a dream come true. And I know for, for him, the Nighthawks were, he was sitting in the Blue Cross Arena at one point. So for him to potentially don that jersey next year, it's gonna be pretty exciting. The draft has changed the look. You go from in person to virtual, but the message still the same. A young player trying to go to the professional route when you were in those shoes. What were the next steps you took to get ready for those moments? Um, I, I think for me, I just you know one, you got to be taking yourself a little more uh, on and off the, the floor, and um, I just try to be a sponge. I remember going to my first camp and. In Colorado and uh, just tried to listen to the veterans, guys who were there before me, and I think that was my ultimate goal. I, I wanted to, to be playing with and competing against those guys. So um, I, I think be a sponge, um, you know, do as much as you uh, possibly can just to fit in. Uh, but yeah, I, no, Connor, I've seen that. Connor's, he'll be fine. Um, but yeah, for any guy kind of going through, it's just, you, you know, you're just trying to take things from guys, what they, you know, guys from before you and, uh, yeah, at the end of the day, you're just trying to go out and compete with your teammates. Thanks, Coatsy. Thank you.